What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing Mill Valk. This is going to be a lot of fun. Mill is this strategy that TryHard created, which means you're going to be shoving cards into your opponent's hand, and if they have 10 cards in their hand, they're not able to block, because blocking involves drawing a superpower and you can't draw any cards when you have 10 cards in your hand, or whatever the logic is. Uh, you're going to be teleporting in Regifting Zombie that forces two cards into the, your opponent's hands, also gives you two cards, so it'll be very easy to get the all-important Valk, which is the really the only finisher in this deck. We're also going to be teleporting in Wormhole Gatekeeper that not only does some Bullseye, but also again draws you a card, giving you your win condition, and draws the opponent card, milling them. We're going to be uh, doing some early game damage with Quick, quick Draw Con Man, controlling them with Barrel of Dead Beards. You can either teleport that in. Or use final mission in order to do uh, five damage to one thing and one damage to everything since when the barrel explodes it does one splash around the entire board you can remove those pesky big minions and wing nuts with your fruit cake but yeah you're basically going to be teleporting in your valk or teleporting in uh, playing mustache monument valkyrie that'll be a turn seven combo and the valk will grow every single time you um every single time you draw a card it's going to be easy to get a lot of damage with the con man since the con man utilizes uh the mill because every time your opponent draws a card uh they will be taking damage from the con man because of its ability so it'll just be doing a whole bunch of damage you have a few commands on the board you can easily cut their health in half and then the valve can just be teleported in on turn five uh, and do 10 damage and kill them Let's see how the deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. We should have time for eight games today. And if you think this deck will win six out of eight vote, yes. Five out of eight is going to be an over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash from up. From down. From all around. Well, I can look through the chat over here. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple things not working. People are going to be subscribing and donating, and that's not working. Streamlabs is down. You can see the chat is a little different. That's just a window capture of the uh, <laughs> of the chat window just on my screen, so you'll see me scrolling through the chat <laughs> looking at things. Maybe I'll try to highlight comments I'm, re I'm, I'm like reacting to. I don't know. Probably not. All right, so we got some bungees. Just wanted to, just in case we go up against beans, I think I'll hold on to this. Barrel. Uh, really want a mulligan for Valkyrie. I don't really want Mustache Monument in starting hand, but this is okay. We have a lot of card draw, so again, it, it, this is the cool thing about this, besides for being Mill, which works very well with Valkyrie, because, you know, that huge damage done from the one shot of the Valk, if they're milled, it will never get blocked. So that's synergy. Also, you end up with just a lot of minions in this deck, so every single time a minion dies, the Valkyrie grows by two attack. So that's synergy. Also... Um, since Valkyrie is so important as a win condition in this deck, it's really nice to, um, to have a lot of card draw. Just in case like this, we don't have it, we'll be able to draw into it eventually. Uh, and we start off against a hacker, what do you know? What a big surprise. <laughs> it's definitely a hacker. It's definitely a hacker, guys. Don't bounce that. Oh, it's not a hacker at all. What do you know? What do you know? Uh, I think this is okay. Going for lane one. Nailed it. So we're able to take out both of these admirals. Why did he play one here? Why didn't he play them both in the water? Kind of strange. We. So that was turn three. We can just barrel mission next turn. I can also just chickening next turn. We need a leap. We'll chickening later. We need a leap. It's Yo, Fry, love your content and wanted to say just seeing you from time to time really <laughs> changes and improves my day greatly, so I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, he's got a lot of Admiral Navy beans though. That's three so far. So we definitely will get the value here kills our own guy which is okay but we get four to face kills two of his such a good combo good old barrel fireworks man barrel mission i mean uh feeding cards to a bean deck is kind of is kind of <laughs> it's, it's very bad how am i gonna win here i don't have valk i mean i guess i guess i kind of just have to spam this right 
I mean, he can't have more than one Admiral Navy beam left in his deck, right? So, we'll probably be okay here. Uh, should I save for either final mission? I think I will. We have to play reactively. Get a little defense going. And he's running Onion Rings. That is not a good thing. Not good thing at all. I think we saved the final mission. I could fruitcake that. He's gonna... This doesn't really hurt, and we really do need momentum, so I'm just gonna be keeping this on the board. Like, him drawing an extra card when his hand is full of cheap 4-4s, four that card we feed him is not gonna be playable for another few turns anyway. It's not gonna really matter. Uh, yeah, but we just don't have a vow. We'll see if we can whittle him down with some of these other minions. What is he doing now? Uh, the second one does not get the 4-4 four four stats. Nice try, bro. But if that's all he's doing this turn, we're fine. He draws a couple cards, but he's not getting any momentum. I don't understand that play. I'll just put the strongest guy we have in the field. So we're doing one. Proc the block. Hopefully get him down to two and in final mission range here. We still have 12 health. So unless he gets a lucky blow or if he gets freeze, we should have him down to two here. He got freeze. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's just line dancing zombie, and we can always teleport in another minion. Uh, alright. Yeah, we have to play around shooting starfruit for sure. <sighs> There's fourth admiral! This is so sus, man! It's a 1-1, one, one, so it's one of those cards we gave him. Uh, he conjured this from the other one. Okay, we'll keep track of how many admirals. Make sure he's not soft tagging. Nah, he, he just he just got all four admirals, okay? We don't have to use every person of, of cheating in this game, okay? So now we have an interesting decision. Chickening ain't bad. Chickening ain't bad at all. Chickening gets him down to one. Chickening gets him down to one, and then we can just do the, the, the mill. Yeah, the mill will win. Yeah, yeah, this is good. We'll get the board space. Thanks for killing my line dancing zombie. Oh, uh, con man. Con man regifter will win just on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he has hand space. Very important. <laughs> he can't even respond to this. I love that. Bye, Green Shadow. Have a nice day. See you next time on Fry Em Up. More like on Mill Em Up. Yes. One game, one mill victory. Here we go. We just drew Valk. We don't need... You know, I said we're not going to win without Valk, but it looks like this deck can... Uh, between the final missions, the cards you conjured from Eureka, the 4-3 Deadbeard summon. Heck yeah. Guys, he wasn't hacking. Shut up. Give him the benefit of the doubt, okay? <laughs> he just got four admirals. By turn five. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. Here's Panda Dude Man 69. What a, what a man, what a man, what a man. Oh, there's Falk. That's all you really need. Con Man, this matchup. Con Man, Valk, Teleportation Zombie, so good. Ink get berry blasted, that's why. Is this the best deck in the game? <laughs> We're gonna find out. I like how the deck doesn't really die very badly to like Black Eyed P, you know, unlike a lot of Professor Brainstorm decks. It doesn't die very hard to like Black Eyed P and, and stuff like that. Oh, we can get punished by Twin Sunflower, but it's not the end of the world. We'll free cake whatever he plays on turn three. Uh, but yeah, if they play like, you know, we have obviously Barrel to answer for Get Me Nuts, but really, I mean, the tricks aren't as essential to this deck as a regular Brainstorm deck. It's nice building an entire deck around Valk for that reason. Valk and Con, man. Um, we don't have to rush this. He'll need two cards to get rid of or a hammer, I guess. It's probably better just to teleport this in. Mm. 
we still get the teleport value. I wonder if I should play this or if I should final mission this. Since it's kind of useless. We're gonna need another card to deal with this. That's a little bit tough, actually. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna just control. At the end of the day, this is a control deck. We do have Mustache Monument Valk in hand. What a man, what a man, what a man. What... I think I'm just gonna do this play as well. You know, well, the, the Fruitcake is much more important next turn against Allosaurus, things that heal him and will make our wing condition harder. Uh, this gets plenty of value, it draws less cards. You know, we could have gone like Conman Fruitcake, I'd rather just Fruitcake next turn. It does play four brains, you know, and lets the opponent do whatever they want, but we're at 20 health. Like, what's the worst case scenario? Wingnut? He'll make a good trade and buff our Valk even more, it's not... Yeah, that's not good. Dude, you have to go face here. You can't be playing. Okay, he's playing defensively. Okay, he's very blessed. Okay. Oh, he is going aggro. Is this just aggro solar flare playing super slow? I guess it is. I suppose it is. Okay. That looks at six right now. That bungee is very, very good thing. I'm thinking Barrel Bungee Fruitcake. Is there another play? Can we utilize the Vampire here? There's no point in really teleporting in the barrel, right? Is there a reason for this to go here or there? I guess this will be the better card next turn, so we want to Bungee it. Meaning this will be a 4-1 that can grow, this will be a 4-1 that can't grow. I probably just... well, I could bungee this one. I could take 3 damage and save the fruitcake for like an Astrocado or some kind of finisher. Taking 3 damage at this juncture is not that bad. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Can't take 5. And we'll take 3. We'll have a 4-1. I don't care. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Or like Elderberry is gonna need to get free cake. I think this is okay. Maybe I should have saved this though so it doesn't die. We really just want to proc his block this turn, and Valk him for, for a million. I think that's what I'm going to go for. I don't want him blocking and killing the Mustache Monument. And again, this 4 damage does basically nothing here. We should win. We have 2 shots to proc his block. If we roll double 1s, we're screwed. But he can't kill this, this Mustache Monument. He can't do anything to prevent lethal here. So we is 2-0! Easy. Oh, it's even more lethal than today. Was it a good play? It worked. Aggro Solar Flare into a deck. I mean, we we were lucky to get a bungee. You know, we're only running a two in this deck, but we also had Barrel Mission, Brute Cake. With that much removal, Teleportation Zombie also kind of counts as removal because it turns every minion into your deck into a counter to an aggro card. What would I do in this deck against a Pine Clone deck? I think I would just stall for time, clear lane, and uh, and Mustache Bell on 7. I think we, we can actually deal with Pine Clones. Let's see that. Uh, so you obviously keep Valk. This teleport seems a little slow. But there's never anything wrong with having a bunch of teleports in this deck for later, right? Summonings are really good. Complimentary card here. Do I want a summoning on one just in case he black eyed peas on turn two? Uh, I think so. Does that. Oh, summoning on heights just in case we get chimney sweep. You gotta be proactive. Oh my god. 
That's a summoning from hell. That's a that's a summoning three three just for starters, man. Uh, this is also a pirate, so there's put. Oh, this is a pirate. Duh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do I do I teleport this turn? Into if this doesn't die. Well, if he plays black IP, I'll just pass. Oh, never mind. I don't care about this. I don't care about this at all, guys. Look at this combo. Look at this combo. So the con man's gonna grow, but it's just gonna get so much. He's gonna concede. He's gonna concede right now. The best summoning of all time. I'm, this is not a pirate deck for Professor Brainstorm. This shouldn't work. This thing is gonna go up to 3-5 just from that. And then when I play this card, this is gonna go up to 5-7. Guys, it's time to play. Guess what turn it is? We got a 4-4, four, four, we got a 5-7, and a 3-2. <laughs> this is turn three. <laughs> What? No, that's not fair. That's busted. That's busted. That's not fair. I could have played the... <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Bruh. Uh, so that's a 5-5 five, five now. La da 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 da. Doink. Woo, okay, he killed one of my pirates. Oh no. What, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So I'll just play this here defensively. That grows again. La 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> Another Rotobega. Nobody cares. Zero people care. Um, The only question is, should I kill this? Yeah, I probably should, right? Goodbye. I don't care. This will grow. This grows again. Uh, it just makes the swashbuckler live. And it makes this not do so much damage. This only attacks once since it dies. Unless he freezes the gunman. Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, it still dies though. It kills the swashbuckler, unfortunately. It only does four. Damn, we're getting low. We got the full block meter, fortunately. I think we're just a fruitcake away from winning. Let's see teleportation zombie con man fruit gang looks pretty good. We can also well we can't value. Could you not put a team up here? <laughs> Guys, he's going for it. I don't know what he's going for, but he's going for it. We just win here. Pretty damn easily. Goodbye. Well, that was a completely fair game. <laughs> it's busted, man. I think that's gonna be a highlight game. That was crazy. That was pretty insane. Yeah, definitely going on YouTube. La di da, Rathrino. La di da, di da, di da. Oh, we could have done final to face. Oh, my bad. The guy was just running Roto Vegas. What could he do? Uh, alright. Roy. Looking for Valk. How hard do I mulligan for Valk here? Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of Con Man though. Same thing? Is this the same guy? <laughs> Is this same dude? No. That guy was Lazy Sloth, Lazy Blue Sloth. This is Ger Gerardo. Get it out though. Let's get the same thing now. Hello. Come on, swashbuckler. Should I just do it here? Because it's not gonna be swashbuckler. Alright. Drone engineer? It's not terrible. We wanna just again, we're a control deck, so we will play as such. Should I, I have to kind of burn a teleport anyway in search of a Valk, so let's just teleport this in. If he plays Black IP, then I basically just pass here. Sweet Pea. Uh, it actually means we get a good trade here, so... <laughs> I'll take it. We take those. He gets a 2-1. I get a 1-1. One, one. Mine does damage to his face. I kind of like mine better. Not gonna lie. 
I think we're just gonna take the trade here. Even if he Torchwoods or Veggies, this still doesn't quite die. My name is Giovanni Gerardo, but my friends just call me Gerardo. You guys know how it goes. Okay, so he makes a good trade. I feel like I'm playing the most basic level of PvZ heroes. Uh, he made a good uh, he made a good trade. I made a good trade. He made a good trade. <laughs> now I make a good trade. <laughs> just turn going back to the basics here. Yeah, I'll just make a good trade here. Why not? I kind of wish PvZ heroes did play out a little bit more like this. He's going such anti-trick. That's so funny. Uh, there's no point. You know what I mean? It just doesn't seem like it comes down to trading stats ever on a high level. It comes down to that. Who can do the most BS <laughs> crap possible? Um, I guess I go like... It, it's not a terrible mustache. Uh, sorry, uh, barrel mission here. I think I'm going to do it. Because it does kill the 2 1 with the splash. This is, doesn't activate or something, right? What the f? What was that play? Eh? I guess I kill this one, right? So it's just, we're just trading boards basically. He'll get a 2 1 at the end. This doesn't grow first. No, there's no one. It grows first? Wait, 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 game mechanics. First I play the trick, then my guy dies, then the barrel explodes. Oh, I should have known that. <laughs> my bad. We'll kill it next turn, it's okay. We take five here. He doesn't really have much going for him now. We have self-13 health, full block meter, we're fine. Uh, it would be nice. It would be nice to get a vow. Bro. Okay. <laughs> uh, Eureka, so why not? Maybe we'll get a foul. Maybe we'll get a wing condition card. Ooh, Viking! I'll take Viking. Vikings, a Viking can 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 do with mustache. This is this is this is a good thing. Do we have any sports cards? Give the man some sports. We have two teleports, so we're just passing. Uh, this is a sports card. Guys, look, we conjured a, a, a sports card with Chub Champion. <laughs> Doesn't work, obviously. Why does it grow first? Because Black IP happens when you play the trick. The, 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 the Barrel of Deadbeards does not even die until the trick is resolved. Meaning that explosion, like the passive abilities of its dying, the trick you played has to be completely resolved. Before and part of the trick, the final mission trick being resolved, is Black IP growing. So that Black IP grows before the death effects happen. No, 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 no. We do have a Valk now. Should I slow this down? Should I play Chum Champion? <laughs> is slowing the game down just to, the only thing I need to really do right now and not play Viking? All right, I slow the game down. I make terrible trades, but it's fine. It's totally fine. His only way of winning is like playing Gatling P here and stuff. Let's just eliminate all those possibilities. We have so many answers in our hand and so high potential. We, we have teleports. I should probably play around like, well, I guess the way to play around Dragon is to pass here on Fruitcake. Can't really play around Brainana. I don't think this guy's running Brainana. I think this guy is running a bunch of basic stat cards. Vikings should be a sports card because the Minnesota Vikings. That's a sports team. That's a thing. I bet you if Popcap. <laughs> he did it. I bet you if Popcap Studio. Oh, actually. Should I just Viking instead of fruit caking and feeding him a car? I don't really need this Viking to hit face. I think this is actually better in the long run. We really don't want to like feed him another dragon. 
All right, so we use Viking defensively. La 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 la. Valk's at eight. Pretty good. <laughs> I really don't want to start milling here <laughs> because I I don't because I, I, he's just I, he has doesn't have cards. I don't want to give him reach. What? Wh why? Why? Oh, that's why. Teleport. And I could just stifle it here instead of free kicking. I think it's like this. Teleport. Then we'll feed him the cards. We'll get the little mill value. Up in here, up in here. What do we get? Doesn't matter. Is there anything I would bungee here? Oh, man. <laughs> Trolling this Captain Cucumber. We can always kill it next turn. Quite e Maybe I don't want to kill it next turn. Maybe I want him to keep drawing cards. Maybe that. Should I go just double barrel? Yeah, so. We just need explosions and stuff. And I'll probably just fruit cake the cucumber here. Hopefully it doesn't have another dragon. Where would dragon be good? So that dies. Where's that? <laughs> Why are you freezing? Oh. <laughs> that freeze did nothing! It definitely dies because there's two damage. There was no point. Just you don't have to use all your cards or anything. Come on, bro. Okay, I'm gonna backyard bounce this. I think the fruit cake is gonna be better later. Let's just do it like that. Don't understand. Valkyrie is gonna be at 14 now, right? So unless he rolls double threes, we win. We. Uh, can we not roll a three, please? Pretty please. That's lethal. It's turn 11. We have a 16 Valk in our hands. You guys know how this works. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> that game took way too long. I wasn't a very strong opponent. Uh, sorry, that was game... That was game 4. I forgot to mark it 3-0, and so now it's 4-0. and It was 3 win... That was game... That was game 4. We won 4 games. You don't believe me? Go back in the video and check. Why not run Quasar instead of what, though? You don't really need Quasar in this deck. It's a good idea, but like, it'd be better. It would, we'd have to start taking out some of the mill, and I wanted to lean into the mill. But what would I take out? Final mission? What would I take out? There's 40 cards already. One doesn't simply run Quasar. Uh. Uh. Mm hmm. Do I get rid of this and search for card draw or Valkyrie? Yeah, this is fine. This probably should have gone in lane one, right? So we'll just pass this turn. We'll either Bungie or Eureka. Probably both. C plays Black Eyed P. Bep. If he plays Bep, we just pass. Bruh. Bruh. Eureka! You gotta play in the lane next to the umbrella, just to... <laughs> dumb umbrella. Alright, we will do that, so he doesn't get more stonks. And we can just nibble and whatever. Not even difficult. Develop drone engineer? That's why not. I'll probably like, stick something behind this or whatever. Dude! More click piece! <laughs> it, it's an even trade with a 3 3. I think a 2 drop even trading with a 3 3 is like a good thing, especially in a Valk deck. We kind of need to. Well, I guess I'm gonna just start. It's so weird because we have card advantage. When you have card advantage, you don't want you don't want to be feeding him in cards, but the good news is we just got Valk, so. 
so much for that. I don't know what I'm playing around here. Snapdragon? Okay, I'll play around Snapdragon. There, I did it. Are those Mario Odyssey videos you made still on YouTube? They are unlisted on Frame of Gaming since I re made Frame of Gaming was originally going to be a variety game channel, and I turned it into BBZ Heroes VOD channel. So um, they are still on YouTube, but they are unlisted. If you guys really want to see, it, I just I look at some of my old non PBZ Heroes content and just cringe at it, so I'll just unlist it. But um, maybe you guys really want to see that. I think I'll just spam this and fruitcake if I need to. If not, I'll just pass. You don't like. You don't have to fruitcake here. The Valk is rolling. We're at 20 health. We have Mustache Valk in hand. We're in great shape. That we fruitcake. Superpowers can take over a game. So we will exchange that for another card. He gets in his hand. Okay, kind of sad in terms of losing. It kind of just like lost us our card advantage. I guess we still have like six cards to five. This also, I mean, the difference between having four cards and five. Now it's like we have seven. He has six. Like who cares? You know, <laughs> card advantage becomes much more significant when one, at least one person's hand is closer to zero. You know. Now what do I do? I think I just say, grow it. I think I just spam and spam and spam and try to set up this Valk. This is okay. Okay, good. Card advantage no longer exists. He's gonna be milled, too. Maybe something good will happen. We haven't actually milled an opponent, per se, yet. We've only... <laughs> See, this is the problem when you just spam minions. They can do whatever they want. So he just gets free value from this. We don't even have an answer yet. We'll get one, though. We're gonna have, like, nine cards in our hand here. La la la. La la la. There's final mission. There's fruitcake. <laughs> it's just not... It's not really fair. Um, it's possible the opponent will... Like, plant food, so I'll play around that instead of playing this con man that dies to plant food. I'll just play... Teleportation is This is okay. On the other hand, did that just make Valk like lethal? The cringiest video you ever did. made was you destroying me in Garden Warfare. La la la. Uh, yeah, it's definitely guaranteed. I could also just fruitcake here. It doesn't matter at all. We Valk's at fourteen, and it's turn seven. What do you know? Valkyrie decks are not fair. That's the moral of the story. The only thing I could do to mess it up is playing backup dancers there. Otherwise, it's turn eight. Otherwise, <laughs> I mean, they should realize with all this card draw that it's a Valk deck, but imagine playing around Valkyrie. Imagine playing around the most potent finisher in PvZ Heroes. La di da di da di da. Did anyone vote no for this? The cringiest video ever made was you destroying me in Garden Warfare. <laughs> right, I have to read out the thing. Streamlabs not working. That's the thing that says, Bling! This guy donated $200. Hey, Fry, you're a big grizzly bear. Whatever, you know. You guys know how it works. That one's not working. Why? This is like our eighth green shadow in, in six games. I don't even know how that's possible. Uh, should I get rid of card draw in search of Valk? I don't know. Okay, so this goes here, I guess. I had to play around Shrinking Violet this time. Hello. Here's Clickbeat. This isn't the same guy with the Clickbeat, though, right? This is a completely... Gerardo, Spusadir, we played against Big Fat Panda 69, whatever his name was, Blue, Blue Bald Panda, I don't know. And yeah, we kicking it, we kicking it today. Do I just set this up here? Is this the play? It totally is. Setting a final mission for next one. It's not the same guy. I probably should have gone for telepathy there, right? 
Okay, double strike. Great. <laughs> so, draw cards. Possible final mission. Can I have Valkyrie, please? I'll just pass. I don't know. There's no rush. <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> this is probably like an onion rings deck. Doink. Whee! This is definitely an onion rings deck. Uh, do we do this? Yes, we do. Oh, we. You definitely don't want to play Name Your Mill until after he onion rings. Then he gets a bunch of cheap team up 1 ones that are 4 4s, and it's very bad. We still do not have a Valkyrie. But that is okay. <laughs> Bruh. Do I kill that? I think it, I think we kill this. I think we final mission that. <laughs> no. Yeah, we kind of have to. We Doink. See, he gets two bananas. Oh well. I felt like I was about to do something. Did I change the score? We're 5 and 0 now, right? Oh, I was gonna check how many people actually voted no for this day. 33%! Wow! That's more than I expected. Um, I think I'm gonna like teleport in in case he. I, I'm gonna teleport in teleportation zombie here in case he puts something with too much attack. It's kind of scary. Bruh! Bro's running Sky Shooter! <laughs> oh no! I'll do this play anyway just to keep cycling here. Whee! Bruh, can you do another philosophy style video? I'll be doing those on my Patreon. Uh, so keep an eye on the Patreon this next week. I will be... You can even look at it now. It's in the description of my YouTube videos. I don't know. I I'll play this, like, after something next turn. So maybe. Um. <clears throat> Bro! <laughs> oh, no! All right. Now is when we really need... Something to happen here. So let's see if we can at least get a Valk or get some removal cards or something here. This is devastating. Yeah, we really need some cards. I wonder if I'm just playing this. We could like kill the Sky Shit. I could just barrel the next turn though. I think this is alright. Oh, this is bad. We're taking way too much damage right now. This is the first time we're gonna go like 110 health today. We're going way. Oh no! We blocked. Thank Jesus. I don't know. We'll do this here so it doesn't die to the barrel explosion. It's Corv. It's Corv. It has the juice. Good old Corv. Can we get Val? Okay. We just have to accept the fact that we're not getting Valkyrie this game. I think we teleport in Teleportation Zombie, and I don't know. We have to burn through these teleports right now, so I'll just pass here. Uh, if he dragons, yeah, we don't have an answer to that ever, so. What mic do I use? It's a sure MV7. It's a lot easier than the SM7B. So we're going to teleport in Teleportation Zombie here. And uh, maybe we'll get like a final mission from this teleport. Maybe something good will happen in this game. Oh my god. The good news is he doesn't have plant food. That's the only saving grace here. So this happens. This happens. Can we like get final mission please? I 
guess we fruitcake this so he stops getting superpowers, even though this is more dangerous. But it's not dangerous yet. So it's fine. Uh, lane 2 just trades, which is nice. Valkyrie is doing something. I don't think we survive another turn against this Black IP. I probably should have fruitcaked here, but honestly, taking 4 damage basically makes us lose anyway, right? Is there any chance of surviving here? We can get 8 damage. I think we I think this was just a losing move. I I, I needed a free kick too. Uh, yeah, I probably just needed a free kick there. Maybe if he removes like harder move something. Actually. Wait, what? <laughs> so he'll be doing no, he's not doing any damage yet. I think we lose, right? Because the first shot hits the second shot clears teleportations out of me. And, uh, and it's just nine damage or to face. We're just done. There's no way out of this. Unless I'm completely missing something. All right, the deck didn't go undefeated. That's a good thing, guys. We don't want this deck to go eight and zero. This is not. We don't want to be facing this deck for the rest of <laughs> for the rest of 2023. Okay, this is a very good thing that we lost one game. Now we'll win the next two and we'll be good to go. Oh. All right, so what actually went wrong there? It was Coffee Grounds, it was, it was just a black IP I didn't deal with. We got Valk, I mean, what really happened is we got Valk really late and we got a removal card. We got one fruitcake and we got it super, super late in the game. So, yeah. Against Mega Grow, just always keep fruitcake. Maybe that's the lesson. See, I don't like, first of all, I don't like Mustache Mark. Monuments my starting hand ever. I don't really like playing this into Solar Flare because they just play Twin Sunflower. This, on the other hand, is way better. Now we can just final mission the Twin Sunflower or whatever. Plank IP is a pretty good card. That is the truth. Why do you guys think that was a sniper? Fry, you actually stopped Pogo Mug and Blockbuster from being meta. <laughs> well, I made Blockbuster meta, yeah. I completely haven't really seen a Pogo Mug in a while. <laughs> Cause I made Pogo Mug meta, and then everyone, every deck had Blockbuster. <laughs> so then I stopped. <laughs> yeah, you just don't see Pogo Mug anymore. It's rare. I should probably take Blockbuster out of, like, my counter Tron deck and stuff like that, because it's been a while since it's done anything, not gonna lie. <laughs> Pokemon is so busted, man. Busted. It's not fair. Weedwack is so sad because this is still a body on the board that can be final mission. It's still doing bullseye damage to its face. Come on. So we either final mission a threat here, or we'll just Eureka. If he passes. Is this worth it for a final mission? Is this like a berry deck? Honestly, this 2 damage doesn't do anything. If we don't have anything on the board. I think this is okay. Uh, hunting grounds is cool.
There's Bungie. That's nice. Da, 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 da. He does that to gain the berry blast, but he loses the two damage. And we just bungee this. It's pretty good. Uh, Hunting Grounds allows us to play our mill cards. Like... It's like becomes a defensive card now. He has the berry blasts, but that's okay. I didn't want to put egg in this. Uh, should we hold on to the bungee? I think playing the bungee reactively is probably a good thing here in case he develops something. Wow, we just lawn more with that. Okay. So he's running like lawnmower and a berry deck. It's very strange. This might just be some all-out control deck. Uh, we still do not have Valkyrie. <laughs> like, bruh. Mm -hmm. This and Bungie, I guess. I love how the final mission is going to get value like every turn against a control deck. You think janitor will come back? Yeah, I'll do some. I'll do some mop at some point. I think like mop with turkey rider. Bad idea. Ah, oh, he's gonna kill that. That's okay. We win this trade, so this is just. It's like a control berry deck, and it'll have some late game win conditions, or maybe he's using Sark and Strongberry combo as a as the win condition. I still don't have a Val. Where the heck is Val? Okay, so when he berry blasts this, I'll just teleport in some mill. That's probably all he's gonna do here. Bruh! Should I barrel mission? I don't think so. I think I'm still looking for Valk. Yeah, we can just bungee this. What the heck is happening here? I'll bungee it next turn so we get more damage. It's the same thing. Mod as well. I'm not gonna really rely on the teleportation zombie living with two health anyway, so... Where the heck is Val? Where the... Where the heck is Val? I think this is better than Barrel. We can always, like, teleport in Barrel. If he doesn't remove anything, we're not gonna really need to... Barrel mission, maybe? I don't know. Maybe we will need to. Maybe I'll just put a big strike through menu on the board. I'm cold. It got so cold in Canada lately. Today it's pretty warm, but it's freezing in my apartment. I wish they would turn on the heat. That would be nice. Oh damn. I'm moving to Mexico. It's too cold in this country. <laughs> Cherry bomb. That's why. Play barrel. Okay. We continue to look. This guy is like so milled. He's like highly milled. We continue to search for Valk. That is the play. <laughs> Not even close. We're actually getting some pretty decent damage in here. This guy's gonna be down to like seven? It's pretty good. We have it. Oh, there's Valk. All right, now just clear my field and I win. Easy. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's okay. He cleared my field. It was very nice of him. Uh, we just go for the clean Valk victory. Wait, how do we do it though? Oh, we can mill him. We mill him. Guys, we're actually going to get a mill kill here. Yes. Oh, he's definitely going to have. Yep. Mill victory. Oh, this is harsh. This is harsh. Imagine blocking. Yeah, this will be up at 8. 
Oh no wait. Oh no, it's Oh yeah. I don't know why I thought that wouldn't work. Get wrecked! <laughs> he didn't have the block meter, so it didn't matter, but still. We Valkyrie Dex! There probably was a fancier way of killing him there, now that I think about it. Ah. Pharaoh, I'm dying Pharaoh Bucket Bay. I actually was preparing for today Trick Mech with Cone Zone. I could not get it to work. It just Trick Mech anyway bricks. They call it Brick Mech for a reason. And once it had Cone Zone, it was bricking every game. It, it wasn't. It we had its uses, but it never was good enough to justify being in the deck. It wasn't even really close. Alright, so yeah, kind of rough getting rid of Fruitcake against this dude. I love Valk, yeah, so hold on to a Emergency Fruitcake. We don't have missions, so if we see like Orgormi Nuts, we'll play like Barrel in front of it. Anyway, he had the other OP card. Oh, two Valks. Is there any card he kind of has to play around here? I guess we just barrel this, right? We'll do barrel mission on four. Get wrecked. This does play around like Split P. There are a few one health cards he can't really play. So that's, um, he, he passed turn two. I mean, a Triceratops would have, so we haven't seen a Triceratops in a long time. Um, yeah. There it is. Boinkies. Boinky with boinkies. I don't know what I'm saying. It is time to splash. Should I play around plant food? I'm gonna... I'm not gonna know. I could always fruitcake this if he plant foods lane 1. Otherwise, he can't really deal 3 damage. Um, worst case scenario, I'll just fruitcake this. But it, it's probably better to play Barrel Mission, surprise him with the Barrel Mission this turn. Just because he, he'll, he'll play more into it than if I spam the Barrel. Like, if he was really holding that Split Pea in his hand... We'll see it come out here. In fact, the, because there's damage, sp double splash damage happening here, <laughs> it's playing around everything now. Oh, how do we do this? This destroys, this destroys. Do I just save the... I mean, we, we this 4-3, we, we we, we, this will just be a 2, this will be a 4-3. We just win this trade, right? I don't think we even mission here. We'll have a 4-1 instead of a 4-3 on the field. In fact, it'll be a 4-2 if we do it like this. Yeah, this is so much better. Splash! Whoa! Look at these Valks. The Valks is getting it done. They're already at 8. I could probably spam one here. It's probably a good idea. He can't afford to take 8 damage. And he can't really play anything with 6 attack here. I don't have any teleports. I don't really have any good plays. So I'm going to spam a Valk. It means we can't play reactively, we can't play around, you know, Gatling and 2. That would be so ballsy, though, because we have 12 damage on his face. For him to play Gatling here, I think it's it's a good play, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Someone came in the chat and said, hey, you're playing my friend from school. Here, look, I can show you. That's cool. Is Trick Mac good? Yes. Trick Mac's a very, very strong deck. It's very good for winning games. High percentage and fast. Great, great for climbing the Ultimate League. He didn't have an answer. I wonder how recklessly I should just Valk Fruitcake here. <sighs> I think I'll do this and... 
to throw kick something in an emergency. I'd love to get just a mustache monument. Uh, this final mission ain't bad. Uh, I think it's this one. This dies anyway. He did have the Gatling. Luckily, it didn't do any damage. We still have an 8-1. This is still a huge threat. It's gonna take a whole nother card now. Oh, there's Mustache. Lovely. Uh, I think we beat him cards now that we're able to play reactively. We have a fruit cake, and hopefully we'll get one other thing that costs two or less here. Doesn't matter what it is. Calm man, it's fine. So having fruit cake, the ultimate answer. That's really good. Ah, uh, doing more damage. Nice. It just makes this Valkyrie more likely to kill him this next turn. The one in our hand, I mean. There's also a world where we final mission to face to set up the Valk. Three damage already does it. <laughs> We're definitely doing it now. He's playing around Valk, it's smart. He's actually playing this well, but unfortunately for him. Wait. <gasps> Did I mess up? Oh yeah, well, two more things die, so we'll have 18. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, actually, this still could have gone phase and we still would have had guaranteed. Yeah. There's no way to mess up there. 18 damage Valk. Not a bad day at the office. Are we, uh, is this... Oh yeah, we're 7 and 1. That was gamey. Alright, guys. I think we've proven all we needed to with this deck. It didn't go 8 and 0, and that's fine. As I mentioned. <laughs> Good seven and one. The answer is yes a long time ago. I'll reward the prize. Congrats to the 66% who believed in Valk. This is a great deck. This is a hard deck to beat because of how much, you know, it does. It, it controls well because of how many cards it draws. Like, it's so easy just to chump block. And then with all the teleports, you can kind of never run out of lanes. There was one time where we didn't get fruitcake. Uh, and we didn't deal with Black IP fast enough. I mean, he played like Vegetation Mutation on it. It was, that was a pretty crazy play. Um, he was running Sky Shooter to counter my <laughs> my five health guy. <laughs> That's interesting. Anyway, guys, that is going to be all for now. That was the Milk, the Mill Valk deck. Really effective. Hope you guys enjoyed. Amazing deck. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.